welcome back to the shop. Uh, today we're working on our Project 69 charger. We have kind of a budget bill when we started. We took the original uh, plates, painted them silver. They look fine for a daily driver car. Did pick up some new armrests, but over the last year, you can see how they give. There's no support. The two screws are here and here on these B-body Mopars. C-bodies are the exact same way. So there's nothing to support this and it droops. My 70 Plymouth has done the same thing. Uh, and you'll notice it's gone so far as to starting to pull out on the back here. Well, what we're gonna show you today is how to fix that. Hopefully, get the camera here to angle down a little bit. Only takes about 10 minutes. I'm sure there's somebody out there who won't like what we're doing, but this is a good fix. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this on here. This is the driver's side. That's how it sits in the car. And when, we'll take the screws and ever so temporarily use them as lineup pins to drop them through here. <coughs> Wonderful allergy. All right, so now that I've got those kind of set, you'll see it doesn't really move back and forth very well. And that's what's actually what you want. You want it to hold still. And I'm gonna take pencil and I'm gonna do a simple mark right here across the front. You want to uh, see this when I'm done. And hopefully, yeah, I got a mark right there that you can see right there. All right. So, with that being said, I know this is my top, and I'm running through those screws right there. Now, if you look at the back of this, this one's not as pronounced, but there's a piece of metal that's behind these screws that runs from about right here all the way to right up in here. All right? Uh, Dad, I need three of those three quarter inch screws, please. Well, I can't. Oh, now I see it. Uh, yes, they're making fun of the fact, I had help show up and they're making fun of the fact that I shaved, which is why the camera's down here and not up there now, so y'all have to see that. Uh, so, now that, uh, you know, everybody deserves a good laugh, right? I'm gonna, just for reference purposes, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a, a center line mark. Again, you're never gonna see this. So, I kinda got that roughly lined up there. But this one's a little more difficult than the other side was because it's actually got the alignment pins on the back, but we can still do it. All right, this gives me kind of a visual reference down the middle and I'm gonna flip it around and do it this way as well. Just so you'll know, this video today is filmed in front of a live audience. Uh, that actually should be more like right there. But anyway, visual reference is what I'm looking for. Um, right here, that corner. Three sixteenths drill bit. screw hole just about right there all right and we're going to end up with one about right here and we're going to end up with one about There, just like that. All right. Get myself turned around the right direction here. And what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, as I it, I'm gonna line this edge up. And you can see, and we'll have some work to do right here. Uh, 
how far it's dropped down. So I'm gonna start up here in this upper corner. We'll just get our number two Phillips bit back in the drill. There we go. There we go. All right, so what we've got here, these are number eight, three quarter self-starting screws. Three quarter will not go through that enough for you to ever know it's there, but it will hit that steel plate. If I miss the steel plate, you'll know it because it won't grab anything. And I did miss one on one I did, so I said re to the hole. But let's see how this one. Hmm. Like that too, I've missed the hole on. Let me drop to the middle and see if I can get one in the middle and we'll come back and fix that one here in just a second. Okay. to see how far off I was. All right, there's that metal plate. This one was a little, a little harder to hit than the other one was. All my screws are a little low, so. We'll just re-drill them. Not the end of the world. The other one I hit the first time out. Should have known when I shot the video, I would not hit it the first time out. But that's okay, we figured out what I did wrong. So what we're gonna do is re-drill this whole right there. Right there. And right there. All right, let's try that. one you can tell definitely tell I drilled into something on that one and so I'm just keeping that edge right there aligned on the bottom two and this one will be three all right, this one, as you can see how much it's sagged right here. So I'm gonna have to physically push this up as I let it drill. Or try to at least, because it's gonna be a bear.
One more time. Just got, this one's just tight enough. It's gonna make me fight, gonna fight me. All right, so and that is what you end up when it's all said and done. How's that look? And what we did, we put these three screws in. You can see that the video was a live video. You see that uh, we missed those three, had to redrill them, but that's okay. You'll never see this. You won't know that it's hurt. You can't see our pencil marks we made. And this is now permanent. Attach this to the car and you're done. Thanks for watching. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you like what we're doing, if you have interest in this, uh, hit the like button, subscribe to our videos. If you have questions, general comments, suggestions, or just wanna know more about the shop, please comment below. Thanks again for watching. Hope to see you in future videos.